Hello everybody, my name's Katrina and today I'm going to be sharing with you my to be read pile for the Booktubeathon. Oh, I'm so excited. The Booktubeathon is here again. This is one of the most exciting times of the year for me. I really love the Booktubeathon. I sadly wasn't able to participate last year because I was co-hosting the biannual Bibliothon, but it's worked out this year. So I'm here and I'm so ready. Now I will not be doing video challenges this year because I will be traveling across New Zealand and honestly I don't know how my reading's gonna go but I am doing a bit of a road trip around New Zealand so there's gonna be a lot of travel time that I should be able to utilize for reading. So fingers crossed it all works out in my favor. But on the plus side for you guys in my reading vlog wrap up video that I put together you can also see some of the fun adventures I have in New Zealand alongside all of my reading. So I think that's going to be really exciting. Look forward to that but for this video we're going to talk about what books I'm planning on reading. We have some interesting reading challenges this year. It took me a little while to pick out what books to choose for some of them but I think I think we can work this out. Oh actually I just realized there's another book I mean add to my TBR. <laughs> Challenge number one is to do a coin toss to help you choose what book to read. So I'm going to be tossing up between The Subtle Knife by Philip Pullman and The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan. I thought these would both be really good options because A, I have access to both of the audiobooks, so that would be really handy. I've also been wanting to continue on with some of the series that I've started. This is the final book in a series. This is the second book in a series that I've technically already read but cannot remember a thing about because I read the this one before I read the first book <laughs> forever ago. Shame on me, I know. Anyway, ramble over. We're going to be tossing up between the two of these. So I don't have my glasses on so either if my aim is off I'm going to lose the coin or I'm just not going to be able to see it and therefore not catch it so this is going to be interesting. Shit. <laughs> I literally can't see. Okay. <laughs> Can you tell it's late at night? I just realized I didn't specify which one is heads and which one is tails after all that. So this one is going to be heads. This one is going to be tails. It is. It was tails. <laughs> so what did I say? Heads, tails. Did I say that? If not, I will just amend this later. I apologize. But uh, for now, we're going with this. Fuck, I should have really paid attention. I'm really tired. I'm sorry, guys. So that's potentially number one. Maybe. <laughs> is that one? Oh, God. I'm terrible. Challenge number two is to read a book about something you would want to do. This one I found really hard, to be honest. But... I finally decided to go with Vicious by V.E. Schwab because A, I've been wanting to reread Vicious in anticipation for Vengeful coming out later this year. And this is also about characters with supernatural abilities. And I would like a supernatural ability. Thank you very much. Anyway, this is one of my favorite books of all time. So I'm really, really excited to reread it. Challenge number three, I said not applicable, but I'm pretty sure challenge number three was to read a book and also watch the movie adaptation. This is totally going to depend on how much free time I have during the week of the Booktubeathon with all of the traveling that I'm doing but I decided to go easy on myself with this challenge just in case and I'm going to read the first volume of Fairy Tale by Hiromu Mashima and then also watch the equivalent episode or episodes of the anime which I believe is up on Netflix. If it's no longer up on Netflix or if I'm wrong with that then I'm just gonna <laughs> abandon this challenge altogether. <laughs> challenge number four is to read a book with green on the cover and I don't actually have a physical copy of this yet. Hopefully that should come soon but for this challenge I'm going to go with It Came From The Deep by Maria Lewis which is like a greeny blue bluey green so there's some kind of green in there so I'm going with it. Challenge number six is to read a book while wearing the same hat which is an interesting one. Since it's winter here and it's going to be pretty damn cold where I'm going, I will likely be wearing a beanie. So I can just wear a beanie all day while I'm listening to the audiobook of Binti by Nettie Okorafor. Apologies if I mispronounce that. I'll look up the pronunciation a little bit later, but I'm trying to whiz through four videos right now. So yes, I have the audiobook for this one and it's not very long either. It's pretty damn short. So it shouldn't be an issue for me to listen to the audiobook for this one whilst I'm wearing the same beanie. Next challenge is to read a book with a beautiful spine. For this one I have chosen Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. I actually forgot that I 
requested this from the publisher. So I did end up ordering myself the hardcover edition, which looks like this and does have a really nice spine. So I'm going with that. And even still, I do quite like the spine of this one. It's a really nice color and it's got a cool illustration up the top. So whatever, it's that's the book. That's that's the book. Challenge number seven is to read a total of seven books. When I put my TBR pile together, I actually didn't take into consideration fairy tale because I, I decided at that stage that I wasn't going to do the book to movie adaptation challenge. So I've actually got two books here. I'm just going to show you both of them and it will depend on my mood which one I end up going for. But first off, we have The Alchemist by Paolo Colo. And I've also got Girls Made of Snow and Glass by Melissa Bashedoust. I have already started this book. I started listening to the audiobook for another readathon back in May, but ran out of time, so I will end up starting from the beginning when I do get around to reading and hopefully finishing this one. These are the books that I am hoping to read during the book Tubeathon. I'm so excited for the readathon. I'm so excited for my trip to New Zealand. I'm so excited to vlog it all and show you guys. It's gonna be good, good fun. So. Yes, ending a video. I know how to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, even with all the ramblings and nonsense. But um, I'll see you very soon in a new video. But until then, I will talk to you in the comments. Bye.